<laughs> okay, and here's a new episode of AI's Hit. Um, basically, uh, again, in an attempt to understand AI's uh, capacity for photography, we will focus on history via the profiles of famous photographers of the past and present. Um, today we have a mystery photographer, and as last week, we will attempt to discover or rediscover her and how she marked her time and asked uh, AI to explain for better or worse. Uh, just feel free to check better sources and compare to see if all of this is true or makes any sense. Um, again, I will rely on OpenAI, DALI for illustrations, and OpenGPT for the historical data. Um, so, okay, this week, Ellen von Anvers. Uh, um, yeah, uh, so let's ask AI. Uh, do you know her bio by any chance? Ellen von Anvers is a German photographer and director, best known for her sexually charged photographs of women. She began her career as a model in the 1970s and later transitioned to photography, working as an assistant to photographers such as Helmut Newton. In the 1980s, she began working as a freelance photographer, shooting for magazines such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, and Interview. She has also shot album covers and advertisements and has directed music videos for artists such as Madonna and Rihanna. She has published several books of her photographs and her work has been exhibited in galleries and museums around the world. Okay, yeah, nice. And and could you give us a few example uh, inspired from her style, maybe? Ellen von Anvers is known for her erotic and playful style. Her photographs often feature sensual poses and have a strong sexual undertone. Okay, so yeah, here I can see the, the playfulness. It's actually pretty impressive, in my opinion. Uh, on the left, we, we see, and actually we see part of the, the style she, in, it's definitely not, to me it's still not really photographs. It feels like photographs, but it's not really that. It's more like a collage. But we, we do feel the composition and the stylistic inspiration. Um, um, again, the sexual undertones on the right picture. Uh, nothing too exuberant, but uh, it's quite quite on spot, in my opinion. Um, again, go check go check her work, the real work and the real story. Ellen von Anvers photographs are often shot in a fashion and glamour style, highlighting the beauty and elegance of the models in clothing. Okay, here again, I, I I'm personally quite impressed by by the inspiration. Um, on the left, uh, as we could find in some of her uh, photographs, uh, the real Ellen von Hunvers, I think there's some sense of action and then we feel like we're in a club or in a, in a party situation like we would find in some of, of her works. And, and on the right, we, we do have some inspiration of her studio works and fashion works, uh, even so it, it's definitely not it's quite rough on the edges, but yeah, impressive in my opinion. Ellen von Anvers' background as a filmmaker has influenced her photographic style. Her photographs often have a cinematic quality to them, with a strong emphasis on storytelling and composition. Yep, and here again, um, I think AI is really inspiring itself from some of the series where uh, Ellen von Anvers. Um, brings you kind of have some close to monochrome pictures, very desaturated, but with lots of red, lots of um, one color coming coming out, and that's what I feel we find here. And there's some acting in in the way the models, um, those virtual models, uh, stand and how the composition is made. I think it's it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. Ellen von Anvers' photographs often showcase women in a powerful, confident, and assertive way, which is different from the typical male gaze representation of women in photography. Okay, yeah, here we can again see some stylization, which is definitely inspired by Ellen's uh, work. We do see also those um, the woman character um, being... Uh, really, seemingly, really acting in the scenes and not just uh, posing. And uh, yeah, there's there's definitely something here too. 
The length and inverse photographs are often very powerful and vibrant, which give them a lively and energetic feel. And here, yeah, those two last examples. Um, definitely some fashion shots inspired by, by our choice of a photographer today. Um, the vivid colors, the, the weird pauses, the, the energy that comes out. Um, uh, I think, yeah. Again, very different from last week's interpretation. So definitely seems that AI does understand some parts of the style and the meaning of style and the composition of photographs relating to a specific photographer. Uh, but as we kind of have an AI Ellen at hand, let's maybe request a custom creation. Um, for today, let's ask for the portrait of a man, a woman, a child, and their dog with a bird on the head and a background with flowers and an airplane flying. Um, and a photo taken with uh, inspiration to Ellen von Unworth's style. Okay, will it even be close? Okay, so the first two examples, uh, I think it works pretty well. You you definitely have this fashion look uh, um, to both of them. Uh, we, we did lose the bird on the head of both dogs, but um, yeah, at left we find again this uh, very desaturated uh, uh, ambiance with only the flowers, the pink of the flowers coming out. Uh, I like also the way the actors seem to be living their own story and something's going on. On the right, it's more of a fashion pause. Uh, I like the the sort of, sort of toy airplane behind, um, and the way the it looks like it's a set that has been built, and and the way the dog looks at us. Uh, pretty cool picture. I almost thought the guy looked like Brad Pitt, but anyways. Oh, and those two next examples. Uh, yeah, the, the airplane on the left definitely transformed into some kind of flying pig. Kind of scary, but. Use of a flash, um, strong colors, lots of action going on. Uh, the left picture is good. We lost the kid and the bird, but yeah, it works pretty well. Hard to know what, what AI was thinking here. But anyways, uh, on the right, we kind of lost the bird, or is that small red thing uh, an inspiration of a bird? But otherwise, the airplane looks more like an airplane. There's some, again... Seems like there's a use of uh, artificial lighting. Hard to say artificial lighting when we're talking about completely virtual images, but that look more like collage than photographs. But again, I think the inspiration is pretty good. It's it's it works pretty well. And, and again, it's always I, I go increasingly to something I really think I like uh, was the proposition. And the two last one I think are, are more spot on. Um, I like the composition of the picture on the left. We did lose the bird and the plane, but uh, I like the ambiance, what's going on. We do have the skin, the presence of skin, uh, and the kind of shiny uh, skin from the, the woman's neck and uh, upper torso. Uh, same thing on the right. Uh, there's some kind of sexiness coming out. Uh, we do have the flowers in the back on the right picture. Um and there's lots of action. And, and the dog actually took the place of the bird and on the head of the man. So AI is not yet understanding very well, obviously, what, I'm, what I've am what i asked. But I think it's pretty good at inspiring itself to create uh, weird photo lookalike collages. And yeah, don't, so don't hesitate to comment below. And let's see what we get uh, next week. And in the meantime, you can go check the real Ellen von Anvers bio and and works and i'm sure that's going to inspire you all so yeah see you next time 